if this is an ideal gas, we know that pressure is equal to nRT over volume. So we can put that in here and do this integral. We have minus V1, V2, nRT over V dV. These are all constant. It's isothermal. We can take them out. It's a closed system, so the number of moles doesn't change. The ideal gas constant doesn't change. Temperature doesn't change. And so we just have minus nRT integral V1, V2, dV over V. Now, we are very gentle in this course with respect to knowing integrals. But this is one you have to know. The, the integral over, of, of, of a quantity, over, uh, 1 over a quantity, is the natural log. And so we can write this minus nRT log V2 over V1. That should not take a breath. You know that much about integrals. OK. Now we actually would like to simplify this or to write this in terms of not the volume change, but the pressure change. So we have V2 over V1. Well, we can write that using the ideal gas law twice. Uh, V2 is e P, P V N R T, so V2 is equal to uh, N R T over P2, and V1 is N R T over P1. So the N R T's cancel, and we have P1 over P2. And so we can rewrite this as the work is equal to minus N R T log P1 over P2, or N R T log P2 over P1. Now P2 is less than P1, so this is a negative quantity. The system has done work. So the reversible process, we had this, this curve. And uh, for the irreversible processes, we got this, and then this. Whoops. And now we get the whole thing. So for the re reversible process, the work done is the integral under the pressure volume state function, function of state.